Hi, I'm in the studio practicing today and uh, I was thinking about you all and uh, I'm just giving you a little 10 minute sideline work. Let's start with the band, kneeling position and like we do in the class, we're going to stretch the bands out long, long, taking from the shoulder blades all the way around you into the front of your core. So I'm trying to feel the connection of the arms all the way down towards the front of the pelvis. Trying to be stable over the knees. And if you feel pain in the top of your shoulders, lower your arms a bit. So you engage more from the back of your arms down to the shoulder blades. And we do another four. Three, two, we're taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, stretching out. Last one. And then release your arms. Do a little side stretch for your neck, arms behind. Release. going to draw the shoulders down and really push down towards that knee starting to feel those muscles pushing down towards the pelvis shoulder blades down so this arm is quite relaxed down really really heavy and then come up inhale exhale pushing down to get the left arm really low relax this and side to side You're doing the breathing on purpose, exhaling all the way. Okay, very nice. Then we're going to do the whole thing with split leg. So we're keeping the pelvis square, taking the arms and we go. I'm going just to do six because don't want to make the video too long, but I think 12 is quite nice to get a good work and then down take your left arm for a bit of challenge reach up reach up so again do it enough time I think around 12 to make it really nice work you don't have to reach the floor I've got long arms but I'm really trying to engage all my core in the front here. I always imagine a wheel around my stomach and then when I side bend, oop, the wheel is turning to the right, around to the right, squaring the shoulders as the weight come up and then release. Chain side, again we practice a little bit of that, it's really help. To strengthen the shoulders before we starting to do all the sideline. I might split the video on your WhatsApp and then release. And you can see the difference with the stability. I'm trying to really engage left glutes and oblique the muscle that goes this way through the breath and down. Very good. Then just a little bit of a recap side and side something really nice to do before you're moving on is to take the band 
and stretch it over the head, shoulder blades down like a big V shape over the head. And we're just going around your head without moving your head. Just nice little circles and then reverse. Maybe you can add pressing the right arm down, pressing the left arm down, pressing the right. You can do a few of these here, depends how your body feels. And you're ready. Ooh, that's nice. That's come naturally. It might happen to you. Where your shoulders really start to work. There is a good strength of the shoulder blades down your back and release. Okay, then we're going to start to put some weight on the arms, left leg, left arm, and we're going to do this. We're going to hold, bring the right leg behind, hold it there, and you have a choice to keep your left arm, and then I'm going from here, I'm putting the left under my waistline and pushing my hip up 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 so this is all about the strength for the right side but it's like in a little spiral wave and then from here i'm going into my sideline and again putting the left arm down pushing the bottom up and again if you feel any problem put the right leg down and then you can bring the right leg back, right leg down, and right leg back. Other one, open, and lift. Just getting better the more you do it. One, and two, and then you can stay here and keep elongating through the right arm. And take the left arm to the right side. If you reach, if not, just hold it there in your downwards dog. It's quite nice and release. Okay, changing side. Right leg, hands, side bend to the left. And we're going to take the left leg back. Stretch the right arm. And then we go under your waistline so it's not where you lift. And then I turn. That's the snack. Then I turn and look up. This side doesn't feel as strong as it's the other side. Then I'm going to hold it, see if I can reach my left. If not, two arms pushing now. You can finish with the downward dog and do a little bit of plank and up. And then you can involve our twist. Two, three. Back, left, two, three. It just come quite naturally because you are bent, quite trained. And you do like 12 times this. And then you go push, walk back, come up, down, my crappy push, put my crappy push up. Don't think it will ever change. Up. But I'm doing my best. You can also put the knees down. Press. That's better. Coming up. And you're done. I'm dead.